Hey everyone, last Detroit Lions Fonza before the regular season begins, and I will have my picks as of right now. Didn't do a video on the last preseason game, didn't really get to catch it as I was busy, but I'm ready uh, for my uh, picks uh, for uh, week one. And the first game will be the um, Vikings and Saints. I'm going to go with the Saints in this game. Uh, mainly because of the fact I'm, I'm, I'm still a little questionable a little questionable on the Vikings offense right now. I'm not sure how good the correlation is with uh, Favre just returning so with his uh, with the receivers and all because a lot of people uh, their receiving core is pretty much different than what we saw in the NFC uh, championship game. Uh, I, the, the Vikings uh, played pretty well last time they played. Uh, they just kind of screwed themselves over with the turnover so I'm I'm still going to go with the Saints in this game because of the uh, the offensive thing with the Vikings. Other than that, I think it, I, I do think it will be a close game, but I think the Saints will win to open up the season. And then you uh, have Cleveland against the Chiefs. I'm going to go with um, ooh, good matchup. Ooh, you see, I think I'm going to go with Cleveland on this one. They, they've they've got some some players, but then again, that could be a, Chiefs have some players too. I don't know. That, that, that should be a good game, but I think Cleveland uh, will ultimately take that one. Then you have Miami with Buffalo. I'm going with Miami. Then you have uh, Bengals and the Patriots. I think that, that should be a very interesting game, actually. See T.O. and Chad there, Carson Palmer, Tom Brady, Randy Moss, Wells Welker. Then you have the defenses. That's a tough game to choose. Um, I think I'm going to go on a limb here, and I'm going to go with the Cincinnati Bengals. Mainly because of, um, not only do they have the stability in the the defense, but they also have a very good run game, and they have a lot of weapons on offense. So I think it's going to be tough, but I think it will be close. I think it's going to be a tough fight game, go right down to the end. But I'm picking the Bengals in that game. Then you also have um, Broncos and, and the Jags. This game, I'm going to go with the uh, Jaguars. I think they will take it in a close one. Yet another close game. It seems like we're having a lot of close games this uh, first week of the season. And uh, the Carolina and the Giants. I'm going to go with the Giants in this game. Uh, just because um, it seems Carolina, they're starting off fresh, nice and new. But I don't think they have enough stability yet. To Plus the Giants defense I think is going to be the main factor. But I think the, the Panthers over time are going to get much better as the season progresses. But from the get-go, I think... They're gonna have to find some correlation with their new their new offense and all of that. So yes, I'm gonna go with the Giants in this game, and then you have Detroit and Chicago. I think this should be yet another fun game to watch. Should be fun to uh, see the Lions front uh, going up against the uh, Bears uh, front, and the defensive side, and then our offense against their defense. And I'm picking the Lions in this game. Uh, and I have my reasons because what I've seen in the preseason thus far with the Lions front uh, getting at the quarterback and it doesn't seem like the Bears have been too in doing too well protecting uh, Jay Cutler so I think we'll be able to get after him even though I still think it will be somewhat of a close game because the Lions secondary isn't all that much either so I think it should be a pretty pretty uh, good game I think it will probably go down to the Baron again but we'll see how that goes it, it, that should be another interesting uh, fun game to watch Maybe high scoring, maybe not. It, it really depends on the correlation of the both offenses and uh, how the defenses play as well because uh, you got to work Julie, have Julius Peppers on the other side too. So have some pretty uh, yeah, some guys on both fronts of the defense so who can get out to the quarterback. So that should be really fun to watch. And, uh, and then you have the Falcons and the Steelers. And uh, this game, Dennis uh, Dixon will be starting. Uh, I think I'm going to go with... Oh man, that's a tough one because you you know you don't know how the Steelers are going to play in this one. You got that defense. You also have the Falcons. There. They have a lot to prove after last season, and that's a tough pick. That's probably the hardest one right here for me. Um, I guess I'm going to go with. I guess I'll go with the Falcons for this one. But I think that's going to be a close match, really. I do. Then you have Tennessee and the Raiders. I think the Raiders will do uh pretty pretty decently. Uh, more than what some people may expect, but I am picking the Titans to win that matchup. And then you have, the, of course, the Colts and Texans. That's always, that game, those two, when they play all the time, it's always fun to watch. And, wow. Not to go with the Colts, though. I think it's going to be interesting because I think the Texans are going to come out and play hard, but they just haven't seemed to be able to beat the Colts yet. But you never know. They could pull it off. That's another close one. 
Then you have the Rams and Cardinals. Sam Bradford, he's been looking pretty he's been looking pretty nice so far in the preseason. I like what I saw out of him. He just he's gonna need some more weapons, so I'm do I'm gonna go with the Cardinals in this matchup. But I think that they'll have a, some some it should be a fun one to watch out for some fun plays to see. But I am gonna go with the Cardinals here. I think they have more uh talent on their team and uh, they should definitely win that game. And then you have the Seahawks and 49ers. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect from the Seahawks at this point because they've been inconsistent like just over these past few years so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm going to go with the 49ers in this game. Then you have Green Bay and Philadelphia. Yet another fun game that should be good but I'm definitely going with the Green Bay Packers. I think that offense is just it's just it's just amazing. Even though it will be in Philadelphia, I just I just think the Packers will pull this one out. In no way do I feel it will be a blowout, though. It should be interesting to see if the Eagles win. I won't be too surprised, but I, I will be a little bit because I'm expecting Green Bay to win that one. And then you have Dallas and the Redskins. Um, Dallas hasn't looked too good in the preseason, but I don't think that can continue. They have too many weapons, too much talent to, to stay that way. It's not going to last very long. I just... I can't see them playing like that. Their starters uh, haven't been playing well, but uh, especially off, especially on the offense. I, I their defense, Dallas's defense has been doing pretty good though. I'll give them credit on that. But their offense hasn't got that flow, if you know what I mean. And uh, on the Redskins side of the ball, I think they they look pretty good. They're starting to get their stuff together with McNabb and the whole uh, new thing there. Their defense. Not sure if Albert Hainsworth will play, but I think that should be a pretty pretty good game to watch. It should be a fun one, and I'm. Uh, gonna pick the Redskins in this match just because of the fact that I've been I'm not sure I'm, I'm still questioning about about the Dallas offense so I'm gonna definitely go with the Redskins probably a 10 point game I'd say then you have uh, the Monday night game which is uh Ravens and Jet well yeah well we have two Monday night games interesting well I'm gonna go with the Ravens and uh, the Ravens and Jets game Oh, that should definitely be a fun one to watch. So, uh, you have Flacco, and you have Sanchez, and then the two defenses. This is actually a tough one to call. Um, I'm going to have to go with the Ravens just because I feel their offense is a tad bit a little more firepower because they've got more, I think they've got better receivers. They've, uh, they both have good running backs, but on both sides of the ball, but... I would have to go with Baltimore. I think their their offense is just a little more consistent. Sometimes the Jets' offense is just they struggle to move the ball at times against certain teams. But the Jets' defense will keep them in there, and it should be fun to see Darrell Rivas who he plays on. Uh, so leave your comments on who you think uh, Darrell will play on. Do you think it will be TJ? Do you think it will be um, Mason? Well, I don't think Mason's playing, but if it will be Anquan, and who do you think Darrell Rivas will play on in this game? Unless he switches off. Because they usually get great corners, usually do that. And Cromartie will probably be on the other, I'd assume. And then uh, the other Monday night game is uh, Chargers and Chiefs. And I'm going to go with the Chargers in that game. That should be... The Chiefs usually come out and play, though. So one of those teams that people say are bad, but Chiefs usually always come out and play. So I think that will be close. Plus, it's a division game. Usually, division games are pretty good. Well, sometimes not, but usually when it comes to that, 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 that particular... Division. They, it's usually uh, good matches in that, that division, so I think that would be a close one. So uh, as this week one comes in, what are you guys uh, looking? Which game are you looking the most forward to seeing? There's a, there's actually a lot of good games in week one, so I'm not sure which one I'm the most anxious for, but I am anxious to see this Vikings and Saints game uh, coming on tomorrow. So that should be a lot of fun to watch. And uh, to go a little further on the Lions and Bears game, I. I think it. I think you've got really uh, good quarterbacks in this game. I think Matthew Stafford and Jay Culler both have some things they they both want to prove. Their offensive lines are going to have to be there. And then you have Matt Forte. Well, uh, he's he's usually had some pretty he had some pretty good run highlights against the Lions last year. So it should be interesting to see what the Lions defense does against him this time around with Sue and some of the added additions up front. And then on, on the other side of the ball, you have Javon Best. And uh, he's looking pretty. Uh, he's looking pretty nice too. So I'm anxious to see what he'll do against the Bears defense. See if we can get some power, firepower going, and just see how we play against their defense and the vice versa defense against their offense. And it should be a good, fun division game. We've got a lot of division games just starting. Just a lot of fun games that should be coming. So leave your comments, and I'll see you next week on the next Detroit Lions funds after the week one's over I'll actually have my uh, next video after the week one is uh, over so probably like Tuesday maybe late late on Monday I'll have my uh, 
after session on my thoughts on just the games in particular and probably have my picks for the next, the next following week after we have a better uh, view of how each team is because right now you, you can you can watch the preseason and go by that but the game planning is not as much and players some players might not be putting as much into it so you gotta wait for the regular season to see what what everybody's all about so we're gonna see how this goes I'm looking forward to this regular season and about them Lions. Let's go. All day. Good luck to everybody's NFL team out there. And I uh, hope to talk with you guys and see you guys on the net. Later.